Hello and welcome back to Alice Talks Football and today's video is why Fred has been better than Kante this season. Why Fred has been one of the best, if not the best, holding midfielder in the Premier League this season. Fred for Manchester United is having the season of his life. Now I'm not saying that Kante is a bad player, Kante is a world class player, a better player than Fred, but this season Fred has been better than Kante in my opinion. I'm going to go be going into their stats and doing a Fred versus Kante, who is better. Now, Chelsea fans can probably admit this isn't Kante's best season with the club. I think Kante's still a brilliant player, but this is one of his seasons where he hasn't been as effective as good. While Fred, on the other hand, had a shit first season at Manchester United and is now amazing. So before we get into this video, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe down below to Alice Talks Football so you don't miss daily football related content from me. I upload three Manchester United videos a week, three general football videos a week, but sometimes four. So yeah, share and then I'll reply to all my comments. So we're going to start off with Fred. Fred has at some points actually been a one man in midfield. McTominay and Pogba had some serious injuries, especially Pogba. And before Bruno Fernandes came, it was a midfield of Fred with Pereira and Lingard. Fred, Pereira and Lingard, so basically just Fred, because Pereira and Lingard were pretty much useless ghosts in the game. Fred has somehow won games basically being in a one-man midfield. He's playing, he's playing with, he's not playing with ten other men, he's playing with eight other men when he's got Lingard and Pereira with him. And Fred has been the motor, he's stepped up in the big games, you know, he doesn't have the best quality around him at some points. Obviously it's improved now with Bruno, and obviously Matic has improved. But in some games you've got static Matic, who was like a, a brick. And then you've got Lingard that's a ghost and Pereira that's Pereira. So it's really been a one-man midfield. And that's the first thing about Fred is like his importance to Manchester United this season has been more important than Kante has for Chelsea this season because of the injuries that Manchester United have and the quality in the midfield after those injuries meant that at many times Fred was a one-man midfielder. And in the big games like against Liverpool and against Chelsea, Fred was running the show. He was the man of the match. Like he shows he can do it against top class midfielders as well. And he's just like he's not a physical strong midfielder. He's like an engine and he can do a bit of everything and his defensive output has been great in the holding midfield role. So now I'm going to go into the stats of Fred versus Kante. Fred and Kante have both really been playing defensive midfield roles or box-to-box -box roles so I'm just going to be looking at like their team play and their defensive stats not their like attacking stats because it's kind of irrelevant to their position. Now I think Fred's played five more Premier League games than Kante so some of these stats are just round two per game rather than in total because obviously Fred has a little advantage but I'm going to be looking first of all into their team play stats. So the first thing is Fred has two more clean sheets than Kante this season. Fred has four clean sheets, Kante has two, you can say that's down to Man United's defence being a lot better than Chelsea's and Maguire, Wan-Bissaka and Bae, I mean Bae has barely played Lindelof. Like Man United have a stronger defence than Chelsea so you can put that down to that but we have kept more clean sheets than Chelsea and Fred has got four, two, Kante's two. Fred has also completed more passes, more passes forward but that's kind of irrelevant considering that he's played five more games than Kante. However, Fred has an 88% pass accuracy compared to Kante's 83% which means Fred just completes more passes and they actually go where they're planning to go to. You know, you, you know what pass accuracy means, but Fred has a higher passing accuracy. Fred has played less games than Kante and has still been dispossessed less times than Kante. It's only been dispossessed 24 times in 24 games compared to Kante being dis dispossessed 30 times in 19 games, which basically means Fred has been better at keeping onto the ball this season as well. Fred has also created double the amount of crosses this season than Kante. Fred has completed 61 crosses in 23 games, which is like 2.2 crosses a game, where Kante's only done 23 crosses in 18 games, which is about 1.2 crosses a game. 61 crosses in 23 games is actually 2.6, 2.7. So Fred completes like more than double the amount of crosses a game than Angolo Kante from midfield and he has two free balls to Kante zero he has more passes forward but then he's played more games so we can't really look at that as a proper stat but like per game Fred is creating more chances than Kante Fred has created three big chances compared to Kante's one however in terms of interceptions this season Kante has made two more interceptions than Fred in less games so Kante's interception stats are higher than Fred and he's been better than Fred in that aspect However, Fred this season has made 54 tackles, Kante's made 38 tackles. I know it's not that much between them, but Fred is averaging 2.3 tackles a game, where Kante's averaging 2.1 tackles a game. So Fred has been slightly better defensively and has been making more tackles and more effective tackles. Fred has pretty much won everything so far but interceptions. Fred also has a 52% tackle success rate compared to Kante's 40%. So then again, Fred has been doing more tackles than Kante, more successful tackles. 
then can take the season and that is his role to like you know shield the defense and, that, and that's pretty much what he's been doing why Kante's only really had more interceptions than him Fred has also created more chances more crosses and has sort of provided more in terms of team play obviously Kante has more goals this season but we're looking at more the CDM role that's me going through the stats uh, the last stat is aerial battles won and they both barely won any but Kante has won more than Fred Kante's been better in the air and better interceptions but Fred's been better at creating tackling tackle success rate passing this season. So that was Fred versus Kante looking into the stats. Why I think Fred has been better than Kante this season. I think Fred for me has been the best holding midfielder in the league because of his importance to Manchester United with their injuries and the fact that he's done it in a midfield of pretty much playing with a brick wall and a ghost for like half his games. He's been in brilliant in big games against Liverpool. Why Fred has been excellent this season. And this video is looking into the stats and why Fred is better than Kante. So if you haven't already, hit that like button and subscribe down below to Alice Talks Football so you don't miss daily football related content from me. Thanks for watching. Share, comment. See you next time.